Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have two really simple Christmas cards and as you can probably see they are kind of alike. Um, it's really simple so since Christmas is so near, uh, well, close, um, I just wanted to feature this, this card or these cards to just give you a quick idea to create some last minute Christmas cards and I hope it can help you. Uh, today I'm featuring the penguins on ice from Hello Bluebird, actually one of them. Uh, I'm just going to create one and the same uh, card, just a slight difference in the sentiments and then of course pen and paper. But the coloring of the penguin will be completely the same, I will only show you one of them uh, to just limit the amount of time of this video, but it's so so simple. So um, in case you want to revisit copy combination, you can find them on my blog post. Uh, there are only a few markers here, which is really great. <laughs> um, in case you have limited time, you can also stamp this image out multiple times and take it on the train or anywhere you want to go and just quickly color them in, come back home, cut them out and then just create those backgrounds. Um, Something else that you can do, of course, is to vary in the penguins that you're using or other images that you might have that you really, really love. We are just going to replace the O of the joy. Um, and that's it. Really, really simple. Okay. Um, so, oh, wow. I notice I'm still sick and I'm trying to do these voiceovers and I'm just getting out of breath. Uh, really annoying. Um, it's because I'm sick. It's not because of the baby, I think. Uh, but I remember my my mother-in-law recently asked me whether uh, the baby was already, uh, well, um, limiting my breath or my breathing, uh, which is not really the case. But I just sometimes that um, <laughs> I'm I'm quickly out of breath. But it's not like I have a great condition or anything. And in this case, I'm sick, so that doesn't help either. Uh, but we just just take it with us and we struggle through it, don't we? Um, so here, that is actually already the coloring. In case you have some boo-boos, you can always use a colorless blender, the greatest marker that ever has been created, in my opinion. Um, so I took the matching die and I cut the two penguins out. Now this lovely pen and paper, let's just be honest, the right one is my absolute favorite. It's like mocha, coffee, bright, fresh. I, I just, I think it's amazing. Um, this pen and paper is from Honeybee Stamps. It's a paper pad autumn afternoon. Um, and for the sentiments, I used the Nightly LC Large Alpha from Hello Bluebird. I actually die cut joy out of several uh, colors, uh, colors of cardstock, but I ended up using, in the end, um, the red one, which is cranberry, I think. Um, it will be on my blog post. And then the gray one, which is mushroom, mushroom from Concord and Night, of course. Uh, these are the papers that I have at home. I mean, they're great. Now to cut out my rectangle here, which is slightly smaller than an A2. Well, it's the fourth one, fourth biggest one of the A2 layers die from Waffle Flowers. Also a great die set. Um, I wanted that white border, uh, mostly inspired by Laura Besson, of course, because she's incredible. And the white border is something that she almost does 90 nine percent of the time I don't know but she does it all the time it's great white border I barely think of it whenever I create a card it's annoying uh, but in this case I thought about it uh, so I just decided upon the joy for this red one I'm using the innards of the alphabet and then for the gray one I'm going to use the outline which is a great uh, variety that you have uh, I also could have used the red one, of course, but with the pen and paper, I preferred the gray one on the other uh, pen and paper. Okay, um, I need to know the sentiment that I'm adding. The uh, secondary sentiment is from the typed Christmas uh, stamp set from Hello Bluebird. And since I just want to show you how quickly it can go whenever you have a great design, I use exactly the same uh, secondary sentiment for my second card 
and again here you can also vary in the sentiment that you're using so you don't have to create exactly the same card you can change up the pen and paper you can change the secondary sentiment you can change the word that you're using or the image that you're using so actually this this type of card or just another design that you might have made in the past can lead to so many other cards that are still different but at the same time the same you know what i mean <laughs> so here i'm using um the well outer leather or outer alphabet uh, to just make sure that placement is working out especially for the dot on the g uh, i'm also using a bit of dimension in this case because i had this area uh, that i could add some dimension in the back uh, with my adhesive uh, it is difficult with the outline so there i'm just going to adhere it flat um, but yeah so I'm just playing a bit with dimension on this card. I'm also going to add some embellishments. Again, that's really simple. Once you are out of, um, well, once you have figured out where to place your embellishments, you can repeat it again. You don't have to, and you can definitely change it up. But if you don't have a lot of time, it is really handy to be able to repeat. So, just saying. Uh, and uh, I first wanted to use these hearts, but well, well, I ended up in the end using Snowdrift Sprinkles from Little Things from Lucy's Cards, which I really love as well. Um, and you can use hearts on one of the cards and then snowflakes on the other. It's all up to you, but I used two times the same uh, embellishment. So here I fiddled with placement. As you can see, it was not from the start uh, how I wanted it to be in the end. But for my second card, it went really quickly because I already had figured it out. And uh, so that helped me with the process. So here I have my card base and I'm just going to adhere this panel as centered as possible. <laughs> Um, using a bit more of a uh, dimension here, you don't have to, uh, but you can. And actually these uh, sheets that I'm using to add adhesive, it's um, a tip that I saw a while back and I have talked about it in the past, but it's by Carissa Wiley that I saw it. You just use like the biggest score tape that exists, you add it or another adhesive, you add it to foam, t uh, to foam sheets just foam sheets on the two sides and then you trim it down to panels of a2 or slightly smaller or anything like that and you can easily um, add some adhesive well dimensional adhesive on your panels so here as you can see i was still figuring out the color i will use as i said before mushroom uh, it's a gray a dark gray cardstock by concord and nine really great one also if you want to add sentiments like white heat emboss and you find that uh, black is a bit too harsh for your car design mushroom i mean it's great it's really terrific uh <laughs> it's a lifesaver so here i first die cut my panel as i did with the other one Then we don't have to forget that I have the secondary sentiments. You can change it up, but I just left it in my Misty. It was perfectly spaced out already uh, for the other card. So here it went quickly and then I needed to add all of the other elements higher up. And there we go. Reverse tweezers is so handy if you have sentiments like this who are really fine um, or letters like this or images that are tiny. It really is wonderful to have in your craft room. So here the penguin, I'm going to add a bit of dimension. It was not an option for me to add dimension on the G and the Y. Maybe if I just doubled up, of course, then you can do that. But I didn't thought of that. Um, so therefore, here the snowflakes, exactly the same as my first card. 
And this panel is already done, you know. It's as easy as that. Once you have figured it out, a design that you like, um, it can go so quickly. So just making sure that everything is well adhered and then we can take another card base and add this panel on top as well. So there you have it. I'm going to try to center it as much as, much as possible and end up uh, realizing that I didn't add any <laughs> shadowing on this penguin. So I quickly fix that. And then this is an alternative. If you want to, you can also just use your score tape. No, this is not score tape. Your foam tape <laughs> um, on the back of your panel. But as you can see here, I'm one of those people that want to uh, completely cover the back of my panels that I want to adhere with dimension. So therefore, it's really easy if you prep some dimensional sheets ahead of time and then it really spares you some time as well uh, while creating cards. Um, so it's all up to you depending on what you have in your craft room of course. So I'm centering this as much as possible and then we have our both cards ready. If you want to you can add white jelly roll pen details, you can add maybe glossy accents, thick goals, anything like that. It's all up to you. But these two cards were so simple and quick to create that I hope that if you're lacking cards, that this can inspire you to create some more in this limited time that rests before Christmas. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you like the end result. Uh, I want to wish you all an incredible day and I'll be back soon with some more craft inspiration. Bye!